Constructing your life is about much more than just building a bank account. Each week, join real estate entrepreneur and mindset coach Austin Linney as he interviews guests who are constructing their dream lives and impacting the world around them on a daily basis. If you're an entrepreneur or wanting to start a business, or you just want to hear motivating stories of how others have overcome the odds, you are in the right place. And now for your host, Austin Linney. Guys, welcome back to Construct Your Life. This is Austin Lenny here with your Friday rant. I'm going to talk about the word that scares me the most and something on a personal journey that I've been going through myself. And that word is surrender. It's this word. I just finished this amazing book called The Surrender Experiment. And he talks about how in life he truly channeled all these things. And instead of fighting them, he allowed life to happen to them. And it created this amazing story. And he takes you through the whole book on all these amazing things that could have never happened if he thought his life was supposed to be some way. And there's a lot of times in life that we as people, we create a scenario in our head. I did a rant about this a while back about absolutes where this is the only way it's supposed to be. And this is the only job I'm supposed to have. And this is the only thing that's supposed to matter in all these things, or this is the only real estate deal that I'm supposed to do. And ultimately at the end of the day, while you can show up and you can be available to it, we truly don't know what's going to happen to us, right? You truly don't know, but what you can control is your daily habits who you are as a person, and what you stand for. And if we step into the flow of the universe and we step into those daily habits, then we can surrender to having to understand what the ultimate outcome is. Because you truly don't know. There is no chance that I thought in the last year the amount of stuff that would have happened to me COVID, getting laid off, selling a property, losing a house, getting divorced, losing my dog, traveling across the United States for a job that didn't come true, and then traveling, moving into the construction space. All these things, meeting this person, this chance meeting, this whatever, there is no chance that if you ask me to playbook my life, that I could explain to you these things. But when I trace them back, it was that meeting just in that right moment. It was that person that referred me to that. But in that moment, you know what I can control? Who I am, what I am as a person, what I show up for. The more I force, the more it runs away from me. The more I attract, The more I stand firm in who I am, the more that I create boundaries, then I surrender to what life has in store for me. And the problem that you're feeling the way that you feel, or you feel the the world is against you, or things aren't happening the way that you wanted them to, is because you have not surrendered to the hero's journey. It's a hero's journey, guys. Part of who I am as a person is defined by the amount of people that I impact every day. So instead of saying, damn, I wish this wouldn't have happened to me, I can say, what is this teaching me? What am I surrendering to in this exact moment that is going to create who I am and what I am and what happens to me. What do I have to, what in your life right now have you been trying to force for the last month, the last week, the last year? If you love them, you have to set them free. You know that song? You know that saying? If you love yourself, you have to set yourself free. Surrender. Stop forcing. The more you force, the more it'll run. We owe it to ourselves to understand that there is a greater thing at play here. And we have to make sure that we surrender 
to not knowing. Fall in love with the process of who you're becoming in this moment and allow it to be what you hang your hat on. The results, the outcome, the trappings of success, the monetary things do not matter. When you are on your deathbed, who gives a shit how much money you have in your bank account? What have you done? Who have you become? Who have you impacted? These are the things that I am preaching every day that is lost. Surrender to who you know you were born to be. Stop playing small. Step the fuck up and become the human being that you were supposed to do and be. But by doing that, you have to surrender to life's purpose for you. And stop running away from the things that are simple in your life because you're amazing at them because you want to do this other thing that somebody else has said on you. You want to do this other thing that you think you're supposed to do because the next shiny object showed up in your life. I have a new motto, surrender, breathe, surrender, breathe. Allow yourself to surrender to life's purpose for you. Step into your power and change the fucking world. Or don't. It's your fucking choice. But the more that you hang on, the more it runs from you. So surrender and step into it. Hope everybody got some value from this and we'll see you next time. Thank you for listening to Construct Your Life with Austin Lenny. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to rate, review, subscribe, and pay it forward by sharing with a friend. Most importantly, take this opportunity to start constructing your life by taking immediate action on what you learned. For show notes, resources, and more information on -on one-on-one coaching with Austin, visit constructyourlifepodcast.com.